Hi everyone! For my first video, I am going to show you the stuff that I am currently loving and using up a storm. So, to begin with, my favorite thing is the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Concealer. And I have it in SC2. And this is just a really creamy... Well, it's not really creamy, but it's... Um very opaque and blendable <laughs> and what you do with this is you use a brush or your finger I use the Laura Mercier secret camouflage brush that you buy separately um, and you get a little bit of both colors and then you mix it on the back of your hand as a palette and that is definitely the way to go because you do need to warm up this product prior to using it and your body heat is the most natural and I think the easiest way to do it. So like I said, I use the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Brush, which I think is phenomenal. And I know that you have to buy it separately, but I think it's totally worth it. It is pointed at the top, if you can tell. But it also has a lot of, um, like, flat surface, so you can pinpoint wherever. And then you can also blend it or get larger areas with the flat surface. And then I usually, like, tap it to sort of blend and set it. Also, for my, like, base, I've been using the Phys Physician's Formula Healthy Wear, um, Powder Foundation, SPF 50, and Translucent Light. That's what it looks like. Um, it has the embossed healthy wear, not logo, but like words, um, in it. And I use the little powder sponge for areas like my cheeks that I really want to pack it on. That's where I have the most um, redness and stuff. And then I'll use a kabuki and just swirl it in and use it all over my face for a, either a light coverage or just to diffuse the color. So I've been really loving that. Um, f personally, I like powder foundations more than liquid foundations, which I know that's not a very popular opinion, but I think for me, it just works better than liquid foundations. Not that I have extremely oily skin, but I just like how it looks better. So I've been really loving that. Going along with the face theme, um, I've been loving the Too Faced Bronzer, this Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzing Powder with real cocoa. I love this. I use this for contour um, because it it looks sort of weird when I have a bronze face and the rest of me is really pale. So um, I just use this to define uh, my cheekbones and a little bit around my temples. And it works awesome because it's a matte bronzer and even though it looks rather dark in the pan, um, when you use a very small amount, you can always build it and make it look really natural, even with very fair skin tones like mine. Um, oh, I forgot this. This goes on before I do anything else. And it is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Liquid um, SPF 55. And I don't know if you can hear that, but it's very liquidy. And that's why I love it. Um, I usually just put it on my finger, but let me show you how liquidy this is. I mean, <laughs> maybe you can't, <laughs> but it's extremely liquidy, and um, that just means that it's really light, and you don't really feel it. So when you put it on, you can't really tell. It doesn't have that weird shininess that a lot of sunscreens have especially on your face you don't want to add a lot of shine unless you want to 
like have that glowy look, which you would use a specific product for that, not necessarily uh, SPF. So this is awesome. You literally don't feel it on your face. It doesn't feel cakey or like you don't feel like you have so much product on your face. So this is really great. I highly recommend for the spring and summer and all year round. Um, for cheeks, for blush, I've been loving the Quickie Blush by Urban Decay. This is a cream blush. What do they call it? Glide on cheek tint. And it's not coming out true to color on camera, but it is a bright, bright pink. And it looks extremely intimidating in the packaging. Oh, by the way, the packaging is really cute. Um, but when you sheer it out on your skin, which it does, um, sheer out beautifully. Um, it's just such a nice flush. Can't really tell in there, but you can really um, blend it out and build it up to the opacity and the brightness that you want. Um, for highlighter, I have been using the Urban Decay again. Packaging is great. Um, cream highlight and sin. And at first, I really didn't like this. It's very um, slick, I guess, I would say. Can't really tell. Camera. It's just shimmery highlight. But I would recommend applying it with a brush. I use the e.l.f. angle, e.l.f. angle blush brush which looks like this, and um, what I do is I sort of like run it across and I tap it in, and then I'll do it on um, my cheekbones, because at first I was applying it with my finger and it was just a disco ball up in there, and I didn't, I didn't like that look. So I'm sure for certain occasions, having a disco ball um, highlight would look great, but for everyday wear, I think using a brush like this or any sort of precise but fluffy brush would be perfect for that um, cream highlighter. Okay, that's all for the face area. Now on to eyes. I rekindled my love for the Benefit Creaseless Cream Shadow and Birthday Suit. This is a gorgeous taupey, taupey champagne sort of color. And it is awesome for every day. I'm sure if you'll be able to see that. Yeah, you can't really see it. Um, it, shoot, or it blends out really nicely, but you can always um, add a little, you can put one layer all over the lid and into the crease and then another layer in the crease and you're basically good to go. But what I've been doing on top of that is my current favorite um, eyeshadow which is Sell Out by Urban Decay. It is probably the butteriest eyeshadow I've ever had. And it is, oh, why is that showing up? It is just gorgeous. I love it. All over the limb, into the inner corner if you want that. And it's just beautiful and easy and Just check it out. You will not be disappointed. And the mascara that I've been using is a Revlon Photo Ready 3D Volume. And this has a brush similar to Benefits They're Real, but this is 20 or more dollars cheaper. So it has the um, plastic bristles, but then at the end, at the tip, 
it has that sort of um, spiky ball sort of look, which you can really get um, a precise like, into the lashes and really lengthen them. Um, I don't know, it's really nice. So I've been enjoying that. And um, one eyeshadow brush that is one of my all-time favorites, so you'll probably hear me talk about this a lot, but it is the Sephora Medium Shadow Brush. I got this probably five or more years ago, and it looks brand new despite that the writing has been all rubbed off. Um, it is perfect for all over color, but also, so you can do pack, 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 whatever, but then you can also put in a crease color and like turn the brush and pack them and then turn it and it just works amazing. Um, it has never shed it on me. It's just awesome and I would highly recommend this. Finally, Sio Bigelow Rose Salve. Could not live without this. That is extremely dramatic of me to say, but I just love the heck out of this product, and it's basically just like um, petroleum jelly, but it has a scent, and you can get this at, I get this at um, Bath and Body Works, and I'm sure they have it other places, but I put this on every day before I do my makeup and every day before I go to bed and sometimes in between that and I just love it it's really glossy and awesome and smooth and it's just a fail-safe product definitely so that is what I have been loving right now and let me know what you guys have been loving in the comments below and I hope to see you soon bye